Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion Part 3. So, I've sold most of my items from the Aeliad Ruins, but I still have one item left over that I'm going to sell right now. I thought you'd want to have a look at it. Um, it's an enchanted item, and it fortifies light armor by 6 points, which is not exactly what we need, but I thought you could have a little look at it. Yeah, it sounds like... Um, a bralette type thing, so I don't know, it just doesn't go with what I'm looking for. I want her to excel in heavy armor, not light, so I'm going to sell it right now. So I've done most of everything. Now I'm going to go into Jensen's Goes New Merchandise. Hopefully she'll give me a good deal. Alright then. There you go. Let's talk to Jensen. Hello. Feel free to browse, friend. It's nice to see a new shopper. I was afraid I lost any hope of new business ever since Thorinir opened up. Ha, huh, interesting. Who's Thorinir? I think you might be just the kind of person we're looking for. Perhaps you can assist us with a problem we're having here in the Market District. How about you start from the beginning? I'm the chairperson for the Society of Concerned Merchants. We formed this group a while back to keep a nice, fair economic balance in town. Not every store is a member, but we're slowly trying to convince them to join. Everything was fine until Thorinir opened his shop nearby. Selling all sorts of merchandise, he undercuts prices like you wouldn't believe. He doesn't always sell what we sell, but it is still a problem. People who buy tend to want to spend their money there. That leaves none for us. It's getting so bad, a few of us may have to close up shop. He outright refuses to join the society or even discuss the matter. We are convinced he's up to no good. What we need is for you to case his establishment and figure out where he gets his inventory. Find some proof of his wrongdoing, and let us know. We cannot do it ourselves, as he recognizes all of us. The job pays a fair bounty in gold when he is brought to justice. Ah, okay. Um, how about you tell me about his inventory? His inventory must be stolen. It has to be. He prices less than it costs to make some of those things. Go see for yourself. Huh, interesting. If that's the case, maybe I should go and sell to Foreigner instead. Is there anything else you want to tell me about him? I hope you're more successful uncovering his scheme than we've been. Interesting. All right. Let's move Thanks along. again for your help. It's all right. I'm happy to help, especially if it gets me a good deal on the way. Let's have a look. Hmm. A nice day today. Well met. Well met. Right. So this is his store, by the looks of it. Hmm. Alright, let's talk to him. Hello! What kind of deal can I make for you today? Uh, let's have a look at your stock first. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Right. Hmm. So this is the type of stuff that gets people out of business, good to know. Ooh, you sell repair hammers. Ah, his disposition's only 40. See, I, I kind of want to sell to him, so I'm going to try and bring my... I'm listening. ...disposition up with him. I want to be better friends, basically. Alright, let's start. He likes admire. He's alright with both. Hate Joe. You're revolting. Really now. You're such a chump. I you've got a point. <laughs> Alright, there you go. So he loves Joe. He's alright with this. He's meh. And then he No, he hates Joe and he likes a Maya, that's it. Oh gosh. I'll get there. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> you win this one. Not funny. What a wonderful compliment. I see. Lovely. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Not interested in what you're selling, but I'll happily take on a nice deal. Actually, I think that's going to be too much, isn't it? Well, 55? Yes? Ooh! 
He actually went for it. You've made a good bit of gold. I know I have. Thank you. Is there anything else I can sell quick? Nah, not really. All right. Come back and see me again. It looks like you have some nice inventory. How about you tell me about it? What about my inventory? Well, it's very nice, Boronir. Well, thank you. It's not only a fine assortment of goods, but a bit of a treasure trove. You never know what I'll have in stock. I can see by the look on your face. You wonder where I get all these fantastic items. I'll tell you what I tell everyone else who asks. It's all about who you know. My sources are good, but they are secret. Anyway, have fun looking round, and when you are ready to buy, give me a shout. Huh, okay. How about you tell me some rumors? The King and Queen Tavern isn't a bad place to stay if you're visiting the city. Hmm, okay. Alright, we're gonna leave you to it. Goodbye. Hope to see you again very soon. Yeah, I have a feeling we're gonna be seeing each other very soon. Alright then. So, my question was just updated. Um, okay. Anyway. Let's read what's happened so far. Right, I'm gonna read all of this because I forgot to read the first bit, sorry. A group calling themselves the Society of Concerned Merchants has hired me to investigate a new store that's just opened up in the market district with ridiculously low prices. Eh. They suspect the owner must be doing something illegal. I should pay a visit to Foreigner at the Corpius coin place. Okay, and then after speaking to Foreigner, he hasn't revealed any information. Since he's obviously hiding something, I should keep an eye on him and watch what he does after his shop closes. Okay, and from what I know, the shops either close at 6 or 8. I can never remember, so I'm going to do 6 first and then wait another 2 hours if that's not the case. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, loading screen, that sounds good. Nope. Ooh, Hello. Awesome. Okay, so we're still in this shop. I'm gonna wait another two hours. Hopefully, he'll be outside by now. Oh, there he is. Let's sneak, even though people can see us. That doesn't matter. Let's sneak. Oh my gosh. Also, another thing I forgot to mention. I also picked up this thing called an alien statue. That I need to sell soon is Spodosia heard some rumors that it's actually worth quite a bit, so we're gonna do that eventually. Right, we need to go here. That you, Agamir? Shh, not so loud. How many times have I told you that? Sorry, I am not used to this kind of meeting. It always makes me nervous. Well, just shut up and listen to me. The next shipment will be sooner than I expected. Just have the money ready. Same assortment of things? I mean, I have enough clothing for now. You take what I get. I get notice at the last second, and I have to jump on it. No time to be picky about it. Well, that society is putting more pressure on me, so maybe we better cut back for a while. You cut back now, and I'm going to take my business elsewhere. Or maybe pay a visit to that Gen Seed and tell her about your little scheme. Fine. You made your point. Contact me when you have the items, and we'll meet again. Don't worry. It'll be very soon. Now get out of here. I observed a meeting between Foreigner and a mysterious man named Argomir. Looks like my new target is Agamir. <laughs> I'm saying that wrong, aren't I? I should follow him and see where he goes. Ooh, more sneaky. Yeah, a reason why I turned my head whilst they were speaking is because I heard other voices and I thought they were like just talking out loud in front of other people. That's why I was looking around to see if they were. But no. I think I was just picking up a guard's voice and a citizen. Hmm. Oh gosh, I almost sneezed then. Oh. 
So hopefully at the end of this quest we get a very nice reward. I'm looking forward to it. Also, has it saved recently? I feel as though I need to save. Oh, my cat's just jumped on me. Oop, that was close. I swear to god, my sneaking skill does not increase after this. <laughs> okay, he doesn't even spot me. No, he does now, but you know. Oh my gosh. My cat's trying to lie on my lap and she's trying to get in the way, which is really annoying. Isn't it pretty out here? But yeah, hopefully this won't take too long. Find out where he's going. So we're in the. Is this the plaza district? I think so. Probably just says on the door I went through, but you know. <laughs> I didn't know there's a hotel in here though. The only hotels I know are the ones in the Martha district, so. Yeah, I think I've been in here. Mm. He seems interesting. Alright, let's keep moving. Wow, there's so many guards in here. Hmm. The next step, step requires me to pickpocket and this is going to be very hard indeed. I've discovered that Agamir has a house in the Talos Plaza. I should go inside when he's not around and investigate. Okay, so I'm back. So I realised that he has a particular schedule that I didn't think about. Because everyone in Oblivion, I think like all the NPCs are like programmed to do stuff throughout the day. Uh, it says on Freedus, which is today, that he leaves at 5 p.m. So, we do 12, that'll be 2 p.m. plus 3. Right, hopefully, it'll work this time. Huh. Yeah, I didn't really think about it, but yeah, between Loridas and Sundas, he's out from 8am to 8pm, so no wonder I couldn't get into his house, because I kept waiting until night time, because that was, that's usually the time that, I don't know, I swear I've gone into his house at night, I don't know. Oh, anyway, let me concentrate on this now. Oh, shoot. Oh yes. <laughs> it's so satisfying when you actually manage to get in. Oh, so it's a nice little house. Anyway, uh, according to the um, wiki, I only have two hours, so I need to make sure... Oh, why aren't you moving? Right. I always like to start with this lock first. Oh, it was that one. Ah no! Oh, this one's gonna be annoying. <laughs> I was doing so well, and why did all of them have to fall down? <laughs> oh gosh, here we go. Doesn't help that my mouse has been annoying. Yes! We did it! I'm gonna try pick off, uh, pickpocketing the key off him, but hey ho, we're in anyway. So let's keep going. Oh, that's a very interesting thing to have in your basement. I found my way into Agamir's basement. The place consists of an odd assortment of clothing and trinkets. Most definitely. 
Most disturbing is the dirty shovel and the mud encrusted boots tucked into the corner and the bits of ground bone meal strewn about. I suspect Agamir's stocky cells of foreign ears taken from the recently dead. I shall continue to search carefully for more solid evidence into his grisly accusation. Yeah, so as you see, there's the bone meal. We got the shovel and the bones everywhere. Like, it's not like he's strewn about, like he's carefully placed a lot of this stuff, which is very um well, eerie. Macaba Manifest. Oh look. I found a manifest that seems to detail names of the recently deceased, what they were buried with and their locations in Cyrodiil. I should take this Macabre manifest and confront Foreigner as he may not realise where his merchandise is coming from. Is this long? No. But there you go, I'm going to take it anyway. Usually I would read it but it's literally just a list of names with what items they have. Anyway, let's get out of here and hopefully we will not get caught. Please, 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 please. Right, no one noticed me. Awesome! Oh, it always feels great when no one notices you. <laughs> the amount of times I've got caught sneaking is ridiculous. Right, let's go talk to Foreign here. I have no idea how long I've been doing this quest for. Speak. No, I'm good, thanks. I thought he was going to chase me then, oh my god. Alright, please, please, please be open. I think he is. Alright, let's go in. Hello, Foreigner. Welcome back. Thank you. Um, did you know about this book? I can't believe what I'm seeing in this book. I'm mortified to think these things here were once on the bodies of the recently deceased. It's just too horrible to comprehend. I don't even know what to say. I, I guess an apology is not enough. What can I do? Uh, help me catch it? Yes, that's the least I can do. First and foremost, I will never meet with him again. I can promise you that. Secondly, I remember him mentioning a place he had to be this very day. Hmm, yes, that's right. He said that he wouldn't be able to do anything else, as he had something important to do. You don't think he would dig up another... Oh, no, he wouldn't. But I guess he has been. Oh, my. What have I done? Don't worry, you didn't do anything bad. I'm going to stop him for you. Yes, you do that. And in the meantime, I'll decide what to do with all these ill-gotten things. I'm so sorry. It's all right. All right, so I'll be back with you. I hope you can forgive me. I had no idea. It's okay. Alright, so he's... Um... Here? I think so. Greetings to you. Greetings to you too. Alright. Such a friendly person. I just love how people randomly say hello to you on the street. Alright, let's keep moving, shall we? I've noticed that the door to the Trentius family I hope I said that right. Family mausoleum has been unsealed. This must be Agamir's doing. I should proceed inside. That I should. So this one? Right, let's sneak. Uh do I have flare lock? Yeah. I've located Agamir inside the Trentius family mausoleum. It appears as though he's been Attempting to desecrate another grave along with someone else I don't recognize. I need to convince him to stop this heinous act. Hello. I had a feeling you'd catch on sooner or later. That's why I had this trap prepared for you. If you'll notice, the grave is already dug. This time it wasn't to take something away from the graveyard. It was to add something. I'm afraid all I can offer you is an unmarked grave. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, it's a sword enchanted. <gasps> Die! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna look at your sword in a minute. Fall before me, Breton. 
Awesome. What's your sword? Agamir has been slain since the penalty for Grave Robin is death. It somehow seems as though justice has been done. I should search the gravesite for anything potentially incriminating. Oh, that was a battle and a half. Oh, let's loot you first. Three gold and... Oh wow, the sword has literally just placed itself upon him. I love it. The baser. Isn't that unique? I don't know. Drain will Nah, it's not. Well, it is, but it isn't. I'm gonna take these, and I'm gonna take the gold. Alright, how much space do I have? Hopefully I have enough space to take the next item I want. Which is this right here, which is exactly what I was looking for. Crap. Awesome. Please tell me you're not heavy. Oh, thank god. Alright, so as you can see... Is there anything else in here? I don't think so. Okay, let's take the shovel, because that should be enough evidence. I've acquired Agamir's shovel, still damp with the fresh earth of the open grave. This is the final bit of proof I need of Agamir's crime. I should bring it back to Foranir. Oh, there's a butterfly in here. Oh, it's gone. Right, let's go. <laughs> Alright, so let's get to back to the marketplace, shall we? Uh, I'm gonna have to wait. And I still didn't level up. Oh, gosh. I don't think I've hotkeyed the spells onto my thing. So I really need to do that at the moment. Oh, is that him? Far it is. Were you able- Yes, I did. Then we can at last rest. I feared had he somehow bested you, I'd be next. It is fortunate that your skills exceeded his. Perfect. I've come to some decisions. I intend to donate all of the money I have made, as well as what is left of these stolen items, to the temple. I also want you to know that I had a long discussion with Jen Seen, and I have decided to join the society. I realize you risked your life to give me a chance. And Thoranir never forgets things like that. Accept this ring as a humble reward. Thank you. It's the least I can do to say thank you. Now, don't be a stranger. The copious coin purse is still in business. Thank you. You've shown me mercy. I won't forget that. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Where is that ring? Let's have a look at it. Resist fire, resist fast. Because we don't have any rings, we're going to take it. We're also going to repair some of our stuff. Hold on a sec. Where is it? Awesome. Alright, so we need to find Jasmine. Oh. Hello. Uh, or Jensen. Hi there. There we go. I think you seem in good spirits. Do you have good news? I do. I have been anxiously awaiting your return. Taken from the dead. The very thought of what Agarmir was doing sickens me. I hope those poor souls rest in peace now that this is over. Well done! This shovel will certainly confirm Agarmir's crimes. Along with the manifest, it should prove useful to the City Watch. In your absence, Thornir visited and we spoke at length about his role in this scheme. I believe him when he says he didn't know Agarmir's sources. He told me of his intentions to donate all of the money and inventory to the local temple. He also agreed to buy and sell merchandise at fair prices. Last but not least, he's officially joined the society. I am taken aback by his honest intentions. In return, the society has decided not to press charges. His name will be absconded from the records of this crime. Now, I'm sure you are waiting to hear about your reward. The society thanks you for everything you have done. Please, take this gold. 
Many thanks on behalf of all of us. Awesome, so we got 100 gold for doing this quest. But most importantly, we got an awesome new weapon. It's been a Anytime pleasure now. doing business with you. Well, you're welcome. Oh, get out of my way. Right. So, yeah, so we've got the mace, which is Caliban's Grim Retort. Retort? <laughs> Retort. <laughs> Absorb blunt 8 points, meh. Absorb strength 5 points, eh. Frost damage 10 points and strike, which is exactly what I wanted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell this sword. They no longer need it, to be honest. Um, I kind of want to sell this, even though it's unique. Because I can always just buy it back. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I, I, I still need gold. So anyway, for the next chapter of this story, I'm going to possibly... Well, I'm going to start talking about this um, alien statue. So I'm going to go and find the man who sells... well, who buys them. And then I'm going to try and join the major skill. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Have a good day now. Thank you. Bye.